welcome in the Beetle Breeding Channel. Today the start of a longer breeding project with one of the most famous rose trevets in Europe. Uh, in the breeding scene in Europe, from Africa, Mecunorina polyphemus confluent since 1900, around 70. This beetle is found in a lot of breeding projects in Europe. Here you see two nice females from Niasoso, Cameroon. It's close to the volcano Mount Coupe in the Bacossi Mountains where these animals are collected in the wild by specialized people who know how to catch them. They attract them by cutting into the bark of special trees and then the sap is coming out of these trees and with the odor of that uh, sap that animals are attracted and if the collector is happy he can catch them with a net. Now we see them, they are very active already of course mostly if they come from the wild they are already fertilized. I will now prepare them a breeding box so they can start laying their eggs. I think they are already waiting for that very long. So here you see one of these females. Um, this is a very nice completely green one. Some have a touch of uh, yellowish to red to brown especially on the elutros and uh, on the pronotum where there is also kind of a holographic structure. Sometimes you can see how the color is changed on the pronotum while moving them around a little bit. So this is very active. It wants to be, now we have to, cannot, it wants to go to the light, of course. They are day active animals. So I already prepared something for these beetles. This is the box uh, here where I will put them. Also I will add some water first. Uh, because you know now it's a rainy season here in, in Cameroon so there's a lot of water in the ground and of course all the leaves there are uh, wet and soaking wet with a big amount of rain coming down in that region around the Bokosi mountains. Now the female is looking around. We will present also some beetle jellies for her. We have to just cover the box with this plastic lid also. There are a lot of holes on it for aeration. Also the whole substrate that we have in the box uh, has a, a good structure aerated structure so that air is coming through the whole substrate and that the larva later they can, can um, press uh, oxygen also in this substrate. That's a very important uh, thing. So now first I have to bring some beetle jellies. The lifespan of these uh, females is about one month so that's the time they need to lay their eggs. Um, they can lay up to 100 eggs but average I would say is about 50 especially in the breeding we don't know exactly in nature how many uh, eggs they lay. So I will put in around five of these beetle jellies uh, so that the female has enough uh, to eat here during her, her living span and also of course I put some bananas. Bananas they know also from the place where they come from because mostly under the huge uh, tropical uh, rainforest trees there are the banana plantations also cacao there a cash crop for the people in the Bacosi mountains and also of course the rose java they like bananas a lot. So let me put it in here the lady is running around in the box now. 
she tries to check out the place we prepared for her for egg laying. Now she's here in the in the edge of the box. Now we will also one more time check the size of the animal. The, it's for 45 millimeters. That's also a very nice size for Mechunorino polyphemus. Yeah, she's restless now because she's probably also nerd. Oh, oh, oops, oops, yeah, we have to pay attention. Normally they do not fly. <laughs> they do not fly at temperatures under 30 degrees, but now she's very active and wants to check out the neighborhood here in my beetle garage. So I will close the box carefully because uh, you probably know, especially females of coleopteros, they are perfectly organized to cut through plastic, hardwood, anything uh, to come in to freedom and to uh, run around where they want and not where we want them to stay. So if you want to know what's going on with the Food from Wood project, stay um, tuned into the beetle breeding channel here, come back later or just uh, go for the playlist uh, Food from Wood and you will see all the latest videos about this topic. Thanks for watching.